Hello everybody, eHomer here today, bringing you guys a tutorial on how to install games on your free hard drive boot 8 City OSD PS2 hard drive. So, what you're going to need is your PS2 of course, with the free hard drive boot 8 City OSD installed on the hard drive. A fat PS2 at that. Um, in the previous video I made, it was a video tutorial explaining how to install that onto the PS2. So, I'll link that in the description if you have yet to see that. So once you have the mod performed, what you're going to need is a memory card. Any kind of memory card, it does not need to be modded. You're also going to need a hard drive, a, or not a hard drive, a USB thumb drive formatted FAT32, as well as a RAR file named PS2 Tools. Uh, which is going to be linked in the description. So, once you have everything, what you want to do is hook up your PS2 hard drive to the computer. And go ahead and extract PS2 tools to its own folder. I did that by right clicking and extract to PS2 tools here. Go ahead and open it up now. And then inside, you should see these three folders so what you're going to want to do is open up this winhip once you have your ps2 hard drive connected to your computer you're going to want to open up winhip so go ahead and run it as administrator click ok on this and then here is the program that we're going to be using to add the images to the hard drive. So what you want to do here is go ahead and click select drive and it just disconnected for some reason. Go ahead and click select drive and click your PS2 drive and you want to click options here and go ahead and make sure that 48 bit HD loader is checked. And click OK. So now, once you have done that, what you want to do is go ahead and find your ISO formatted games that you want to put onto your hard drive. So here I have Battle for Bikini Bottom, Simpsons Hit and Run, and Namco Museum. So since I have the drive selected, I'm going to click Add in Images on here. Go ahead and click Image Files. And you can add images and navigate to where your image files are. Mine are right on the desktop, so I'm going to have to go through here and do this annoying stuff. There we go, all three. And then click open. Then we're going to go ahead and click, once you have all the images that you want to add, go ahead and click start. And it's going to transfer them over there. Depending on how big the games are, it shouldn't take too long. Um, if you have a four gigabyte game, it will take about roughly two minutes, uh, maybe upwards of three minutes, but most of the time it doesn't take too long. The Simpsons Hit and Run was a two gigabyte game and it took 59 seconds to transfer over to the hard drive. Battle for Bikini Bottom was a 1 gigabyte game, roughly 1.2, and it took 37 seconds to copy over. So once it's done, it will tell you the image files have been installed, go ahead and click OK. And from here, you can go ahead and rename them if you if you wish to do so. Go into rename them, and just go ahead and take all the SOUS off of mine. And then, once you have that done, you can go ahead, this is optional, you can go ahead and click scare, or scan slash repair, PS2 drive, excuse me, and then click your PS2 drive. It will scan it and make sure that there's no errors in the partitions for the games that you just created. Depending on how big your hard drive is, it may take longer to scan it. And everything is okay, just go ahead and click repair, and save that. And then it will save it. 
and then now you can exit out of here. The other things that were in with the PS2 tools, we're going to go over right now. One is OPL Manager. This is my hard drive right here. One is OPL Manager. So what OPL Manager does is it will download your art, your cover files for you, for your games and whatnot, for you to use in OPL. So um, what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial is how to install your games to the HTD OSD browser. So what you want to do is take this file right here, HDO Game Installer, take all of it, just drag the folder to the root of your USB. Make sure your USB thumb drive is formatted to FAT32. So once you have this folder on your USB and your games are transferred over to your hard drive, just go ahead and eject both your USB and your hard drive from your computer. And I will see you guys over at the PS2. Alright, so here we are back at the PS2. So, I have my memory card right here. It has my game saves on it. There's a USB that I just put the HDO game installer on. And here is my hard drive and the network adapter. So, let's go ahead and stick that in like so. Put it in the back of the PS2. And plug the power adapter in. Flip the switch. Just get the TV on. And plug the controller in, of course. There we go. All right, the PS2 has started up now. And if we go over to the browser, and go into our hard drive, we should see that we now have the three games, or however many games that you installed, should be there. But now if you click on any of them, it will say insert disk. But we're going to fix that. And we're also going to get rid of this blue, this blue logo for any games that you have the game saved for. So, the games that I put on there are Namco Museum, Simpsons Hit and Run, and Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, on my memory card, I have the game save for the Simpsons Hit and Run and the Battle for Bikini Bottom, but I do not have the um, Namco Museum. So, what we're going to do is go into U Launch Elf, and we're going to go over to our USB. So, we'll launch U Launch Elf through the free hard drive boot. And go ahead and press circle here. Go down to mass. I'll zoom in a little for y'all. Go down to mass. Click circle on the mass. And that should be your USB. Um, click HDL game installer. Go down to the PS2 folder. And scroll down to the HDL game installer dot elf. On here press circle. And it should take you to the HDL game installer GUI. It's, it will take a second, it might take a second. Um, here it's going to take about 30 seconds to load for some reason. Um, it's going to say connecting to network, please wait. And as you can see here, it will say error, there is no network connection. Just go ahead and click X on that. And here on the HDO game installer, it will show your games that you installed. Just go ahead and click X on the first one. and you can see that it will say the full title here, and the second one will be this. 
first H, the first line of the title, the second line of the title. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the first line, on uh, because all of them will say HD loader. I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to Namco Museum here. Rename it to the game name and get rid of the uh, HD loader there, because it's a little pet peeve I have. It's optional. You can do it if you want to, but you don't have to do it. And once you have renamed it, just go ahead and click um, next, go down to next and click X on next. It will say proceed, yes, and then change game icon. Here you want to click yes, even even if you um, even if you don't have the game save for it. Just go ahead and click yes, click change game icon, and then it will say ask if you want to change it to default or not. Just go ahead and click yes and change it to default. I clicked no on here because I didn't realize at the time, but you even if you don't have the um, game save, you want to click yes, change the game icon to the default. So I'm going to go through and rename this for the second one. And for here on the Simpsons Hit and Run, I have the game save. So once I get done renaming it, we're going to go to the change game icon and we're going to change it from the game save. So I finished renaming it. I'm going to go ahead and click next here. Proceed. Okay. Change game icon. Yes. And then here click yeah, click X on yes. And then icon source. Going to press D-pad right. And go to game save. And then click X on that. And then proceed. Yes. Game updated successfully. If it says that it failed, that's because you do not have the game save on your memory card. I'm just going to go through and do this for the last one, and then we should be finished with this. So once you've finished renaming all of them and you've changed the icons, just go ahead and click circle to quit the program and it will take you back out to the uh, to the browser. It's just going to do a little quick confirmation. Just go ahead and click OK there. It's going to take a second to get back to the browser, but it will get there. So here we are back at the browser and it shows the hard drive and if you Go back into the hard drive, you will notice that um, some of the games have the icons, and there was this Your Saves folder. If you go in here, it will show the HDL game installer settings. Let's go ahead and leave that alone, but you can also transfer your game saves over to the hard drive. I'll show you that here in a minute. So here we just go ahead and click X on The Simpsons Hit and Run and it's going to load up. It's going to take a second to load up, but it will load up. And as you can see, it's loading. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to go back to the browser. There's an in-game reset, simple combination of buttons. You want to click L1, L2, R1, R2. Select and start all at the same time, and it will take you back to the PS2 browser. So here we are back at the browser. You can see the hard drive and the memory card. So I'm just going to go into the memory card and show you guys that you can uh, copy the game saves over to your hard drive in the your saves folder. There's uh, one thing, there's limitations, you cannot load the game saves off of your hard drive. So say for example, you don't have a memory card, but you have your game saves on the hard drive. You cannot load the game saves from the hard drive, you have to have your memory card. But what you can do is you can transfer your game saves onto the hard drive. For example, if you only have one memory card and it's getting full, and you don't want to delete your game saves, you can transfer some of your game saves over to your hard drive. That way you can make room for your new games.
so here I'm just going to go ahead and click triangle on the Simpsons hit and run. And you can see all these options here. Copy, move, rename, delete, and information. I'm just going to go ahead and click copy. Go ahead and click copy to the your saves folder. It's going to confirmation. Are you sure? Copy completed. I'm going to go back into the hard drive folder and the your saves. And here, as you can see, the Simpsons hit and run save is in there. So here you can see that the Namco Museum is bugged out. Um, it's because I didn't change the game save icon, so I'm just going to go back and change the game save icon and make sure that I can fix this real quick. going to go through and even though I don't have the game save for the Namco Museum, I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, icon to the default icon. That way I can continue to load the game off of the hard drive without needing any other external program. the hard drive here and as you can see it now says Nanco Museum I can click sec I can click X on it and it's loading the game up directly from the hard drive so if this tutorial helped you guys out just go ahead and leave a like on the video and if you feel the need to drop a comment with any questions or any compliments and uh, feel, free feel free to subscribe as well this has been eHomie thank you guys for watching have a great day